Hello everybody and welcome. Now this is my first attempt at magazine review. Now normally in this time, I don't usually buy magazine. In the past, yes, I buy a lot. But now, everything you can find on the internet. So buying magazine is a waste of paper and money. But why do I buy this? Because there are at least three interesting articles in this month's airliners world. First, the celebration of Airbus 50 years old. Secondly, is this article, Berlin's airport. And thirdly, is we go to the content page. Thirdly, is this, the aircraft storage because of COVID. So first, let's have a look. Uh, it's very expensive. 39 ringgit. And it says here, British pound 550. Now 39 ringgit is around six pound because of the postage and everything. And at that price, I can buy six Hot Wheels. Yes. But let's have a look. Now, a uh, turbo prop jet on a beautiful beach, uninhabitable island forest. This is what I'm interested in. Berlin's new airport finally open for operation. Now let's skip the small article and go to the main one. Uh, where is it? Oh, Thai Airways selling aircraft. These two airlines are going to merge in Korea. This one is flying, but many people are still skeptical. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Now, first, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this airport. This is Berlin's airport. Now, before this new airport, Berlin has three airports. Berlin Tegel, the main one, and then the Tempelhof, right in the middle of the city, and Schonefeld Airport, here, this one. This is Schonefeld. And they decide to build one large one rather than three small ones. A planning and approval, everything, and construction started in, I have read this, 2006 which is 15 years ago. 15 years ago. This is the airport. Now, right now, it is still like this. There is no aeroplane, mainly because of pandemic. And 2006 and it takes six years and they finish building everything the counters the seats control tower the aerobridge 
They finished building everything in 2012. 2012. And now, this year, only they start to fly. Why? Why? Everything is nine years old. This is nine years old. Because they cannot get the operational certificate. They have many, many issues of construction a problem and for nine years they have trying to rectify and they finally made it and now they fly now uh, you can see many jets here because the easy jet parks their aircraft here you can see it's parked because the the engine is covered up yeah, so that's the story of Berlin Airport. Now, this is very nice. A twin otter landing on a beach. The other interesting article will be this. Yes, this is a French town. Tarbes Laudes. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Tarbes Laudes Airport. It is the storage or graveyard for mostly Airbus and you can drive along this road here because it's a public road. What a sight if you were there. If it wasn't for the pandemic, I'll be there. Now the interesting thing about this airport is while looking at the aircraft at the back is the French Alps, the Pyrenees. That's why they say Pyrenees. And you will have a very beautiful mountain scenery. Uh, even 777 is here for dismantling, there's no more engine. Okay, the next article. Now this is this is a Trident B A British Aerospace B A E. Now I want to just feedback on this. This is the center spread, something like a poster, which is very nice. You get a picture of. DHL Airbus but because this magazine is not is not stable you can't take it out which is not good okay they have this article on carrying cargo on seats because there are no people because of pandemic so they put cargo on the seats they have this special bag uh, shape to fit into the seats and you can put your carton box and this is how they load it they use the belt loader halfway through the mobile steps and then somebody a chain of people will have to pass the cargo into the cabin next article will be the Airbus 50th birthday anniversary uh, where is it a lot of advertisement here Some free postcard, or they call it airline ticket cover. Yeah, this is it. This is the plane that started all this advertisement from Eastern Airline in America in 1972. 
the first Airbus fly. They start to build the aircraft in 1970. This is some of their advertisement. Starting off something big. Freddy Lakers Skytrain. Comparing with a Boeing 767, of course, uh, at that time there is no 777, it's either the 767 or the 747. But the 747 is in its own class. At that time, there is no 380. The first few customer of Airbus in the 70s. Nice family photo, but this family photo is not up to date because there is no A380 or A350. They'll say Hillblom and Lynn International DHL. So that's it. Next month, I don't know whether I'll buy it. They have the article of Max. I don't know. I'll browse it and we'll see. So there you go. I hope you like this short review of this magazine. This is the uh, I don't know uh, January issue. Can you see it? Focus. Anyway, January issue of the Airliner World. Thank you for watching. Support my channel please by like and subscribe. Bye.